Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, Dodge's CEO retires after 32 years. The Hellcat name will go down in automotive history as one of the most iconic factory options in an internal combustion vehicle. The current Challenger and Charger platforms have now been retired, and after 32 years with Dodge and Ram being the CEO, Tim has been vital to the inception of everything Hellcat. He is known as the godfather of the Hellcat. His retirement will take effect on June 1st, 2024, and he has spent the last 32 years with the company and the last three years as CEO of Dodge and Ram. The Hellcat powertrains going away was not Tim's idea, just to be clear. And the parent company, Stellantis, is the one that pulled the plug. With electrification and the arrival of the new twin-turbo Hurricane straight-six engines, it will be Tim's legacy to be associated with the Hemi V8. So what better way to go out than now? His role started with Dodge in 2011, when it was five years after the initial launch of the Charger. Tim set to work bringing the muscle car performance to the masses and bringing back Dodge's hello past. The introduction of the 2015 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat and set the stage for everything that followed, including the Ram TRX and the Hellcat powered Durango, both with 702 horsepower. As many automakers moved towards full EV and hybrid technology, Dodge and Ram held their ground until Stellantis stepped in and forced them to stop. That's why we now have this new electric Charger Daytona, electric Ram 1500 Rev, and the plug-in hybrid Ram Charger. All marvels in their own right, but they are no Hemi. With last year's final edition, a 1,025 horsepower Dodge Challenger Demon 170 that runs on ethanol, this was Tim Kanuskas' last vehicle to cement himself as the grandfather of the Hellcat. Chrysler CEO Christine Fuel will do a double duty and replace Kanuskas' as Ram's CEO. And Dodge's current sales executive, Matt McClare, will step up for the CEO of Dodge. These are big shoes to fill, and I definitely would not want to take on that role after Tim, especially being handcuffed by Stellantis. I have the utmost respect for Tim and everything that he did, brought, and fought for all of us, including all of these Hellcat motors over the years with Dodge. This man is a legend, and you will be missed. Again, thank you, Tim, for everything that you did. Overall, this is a sad day. It's not something that we wanted to hear, but it makes sense him being a Hemi guy. Why would you want to stick around for electrification? If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and let me know what you think of Tim stepping down as the CEO of Dodge and Ram. As always, thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.